it's Nicole and welcome to another video in our design series. Today I'll be making this fun printable minkable scrapbook page. So I have gathered here some items that I've already printed on my laser printer. You can see here I've just printed them from this orange pattern paper from Fancy Pants and the registration lines here on the page from my digital cutting machine allows me to print it to my laser printer and then cut it out as well. So I kind of have like a two for one here. And the important thing is that you need to print from a to a laser printer in order to have the foil from the mink work. Uh, if you print it off a normal inkjet printer, the foil will not adhere. So the other alternative you have, if you don't have a, a laser printer, is to print your image onto some paper and then photocopy it onto the paper that you want through a photocopier. So you don't have to have a laser printer. There are definitely other options available. And of course, this same technique will work if you have pre-printed minkable items. So as you can see, I'm just layering some of uh, my photos together with some pattern paper. I have die cut that large uh, spider web here, just added some vellum, and I'm just adhering that down to the page. When I adhered the spider web, I actually didn't use any adhesive. Instead, I just added some adhesive to the back of my photos and stuck it down. And because I had added enough at that point, the vellum will stay. And now for my title, I've die cut from some black, plain black textured cardstock. And in order to add a little bit of dimension to my cardstock title, I've cut two of them. And you can see that I've added some foam adhesive to the back of one. And then I'm just going to layer that over top of the other die cut title. And that just makes it have a little bit of height and natural dimension. Now the fun part starts. So I'm gonna grab my mink here and get ready to customize my embellishments. So I have purple foil and I have orange and I've decided that I'm going to use the orange foil here to add a bit of a tone on tone kind of color to the jack-o-lantern face on the card that I've printed out. So I just cut enough to cover up my black printed area and I'm gonna do the same thing here with the word boo. And so I have purple foil for that and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And in this case, I just cut all the way around the word just to make sure that I get all those areas of the die cut word uh, foiled up. And this is a 12 by 12 sheet um, for my mink. So it's pretty large, obviously, to make the most out of your time with your mink and you know, plugging it in and turning it on is to die cut a whole bunch of items or print off a whole bunch of items so that you can fill that whole sleeve. And then as you can see, you just simply add all the pieces in and run it through your mink machine. Very, very easy to do. The hardest part is probably waiting for it to come out because if you're like me at all, you get kind of excited about the fact that you're gonna have something sparkly and shiny at the end of this process and you just have to wait for it to happen. Don't pull it through at all. Let the machine naturally do its thing and go all the way through. It takes some sort of patience, but I promise you in the end, it's gonna add just a tiny little touch of pizzazz and it's totally, totally worth it. So once you get it all the way through, you'll know this machine just automatically kind of releases it when it's all done. You can get your mink out of the way and then the magic happens. So I'm just going to open up my plastic holding container and just simply peel away the foil. And look how awesome that purple foil looks there. And the orange just came off on its own. And so I have like a bit of a tone on tone thing happening. I really kind of like it. Looks a little more gold right here in the video, but I promise you it was orange on orange. Looks super cool. I really like how that turned out. And it's not overly foiled. I mean, there'll be foil on my page. And it's gonna add just a nice little accent. So nothing super intense where the whole background is all one shiny bit. You really just wanna add some subtle details. This is the kind of the way to go. So I'm just gonna take my layered title there and add it over top of the purple foiled piece. And then I'm gonna do a couple things here with that jack-o'-lantern face later. And so I'm just gonna stick down those photos a little bit better so that my vellum does stick down properly. And then I decided that I wanted to kind of trim off all of the excess of that spider web. So I'm just gonna go around with a pair of scissors and just really just trim that down. I'm not worrying too much about uh, like being completely exact. I kind of like the whimsical nature of it being just kind of hanging there a little bit. Very spider web like. All right, so there's kind of the base of my page. I know my title is gonna go in this left hand side of the page and I have die cut that pennant shape out of some craft cardstock. And I know that's where my title's gonna be. 
but I've decided that this rectangle here for the jack-o-lantern face is just maybe a little bit too plain so I decided to go ahead and just trim that off a little bit and make a bit of a tag type shape instead. Um, so I'm going to punch a hole on the top to make that into a bit of a tag and then I decided I wanted to add another layer of paper um, underneath that orange instead of it being right directly onto the black and so I choose this black and white I guess it's a plaid pattern and I'm just going to trim that out there on my trimmer real easily and just follow along with that same tag shape. I decided at this point I wanted to add a little bit of machine stitching just around the outside of that tag just to kind of fancy it up a little bit so it's not quite so flat and adds a nice little bit of texture too onto the project. Okay, so that's going to go up here in the right hand corner of the page. I'm trying to also balance out my foil, so I don't want to have a big blob of shiny part all in one area. So you can kind of see it cascades now across the top right corner of the page thrown through to the left bottom there. And I'm going to add the rest of the kind of the shine element here with some thickers uh, in this really cool teal color. And so I just get a tiny little bit more sparkle with that right beside my title here, my die cut title. So, so far I'm really liking all the little bits of glimmer that I have going on. Um, I thought about adding a subtitle to the top of my uh, title, but I changed my mind. I also have a few bats here. Um, they were actually the image from the printable and in, in your digital cutting software, you should be able to print off, uh, cut a PNG file. So this was a PNG file that's from our printable and I've just cut each bat twice in two different sizes. So I have a smaller size and a large and I'm just adhering the middle with my tape runner and then as you can see on the outer part where the wings are, I just added small amounts of foam adhesive underneath each side of the wing um, just to give it a little bit of pop and a little dimension. When you do put this in a page protector later, because you have that foam adhesive kind of supporting that top layer of paper, you're still going to be able to see some of that uh, dimension in your page protector. So I love foam adhesive for that uh, purpose and that's probably why I use it on almost all my pages, um, whether it's for my photos or titles and things of that nature, things that I really want to have pop in the long run. So from here, I'm just going to add all the pretty little bits to my page. I'm going to start with these bats and then I'm trying to decide how I want to embellish that pumpkin. And I end up going with this die cut here from Fancy Pants that goes with the Spellbound collection. And I'm just going to add that with foam adhesive just for a little more dimension. And then just stick that right down. I'm going to add a few more butter, or not butterflies, bats here. And again, I'm just going to add them with a glue dot just to hold them in place. And they are just going to nicely float in and around my title in the top of that pumpkin. I have so many embellishments here in this uh, ephemera pack. I really want to choose a whole bunch, um, but really there's just almost too many good ones. So I end up going with just a few simple stars just to fill in some of the gaps in around my title. And then I'm going to use a sentiment here actually from that same ephemera pack and I'll add that to one of my photos. Uh, there is twine, there's a tag pack that goes with the Spellbound collection and I was going to use one of the tags uh, down underneath my title and a piece of the twine around the top of the pumpkin but just kind of couldn't work for me. I wanted to make like a curly kind of um, cue on the top there but it just wasn't working so I decided just to stick with another star up in the top corner to complete that grouping area off and then I'm going to add that sentiment to my photo and then I'll of course right date stamp the date and so that's it you can see just the touches of the glimmer from that pretty pretty foiled mink and it was really easy to do not hard at all just an extra couple minutes to add that little bit of shiny happy texture to the background uh, in the project and that's it completely customizable scrapbook page thank you so much for joining me today on the scrapbook and cards today blog you can follow our YouTube channel to find out so many more tips and techniques from our design team and our guests. And I thank you for visiting. Bye-bye.